Researchers are taking a closer look at some major contributors to our air pollution and how to better combat this problem. This comes on the heels of another study that shows how a magnesium plant in Tooele County might be adding to the bad air in a much bigger way than previously thought. New specialist Mike Anderson shows us what researchers are hoping to accomplish. The Division of Air Quality, along with researchers at Utah State University, are taking readings at stations like this all over the Wasatch Front, and they're looking for sources of our bad air, seeing what they can effectively target to better clear it up in the future. We're all painfully aware of the air pollution while it's here, but the elements that make it happen are always around, waiting to be trapped by the next inversion. There's still some uncertainties, but we are also aware that we already know there's a problem. We already know there are things we can do to help minimize the problem. Randy Martin, an associate research professor at Utah State University, is now helping to hone in on at least one major source. As recently released results from a 2017 study show, the U.S. magnesium plant is not only putting chlorine into the air, but also high levels of bromine, which is not regulated by state or federal agencies. Near source, they actually scrub out ozone. But as that plume moves downwind, those daughter products of that chemistry actually are more oxidative to our atmosphere and can accelerate the formation of our PM2.5 and our ozone. But while the magnesium plant is believed to be a huge source of those harmful bromides, Martin says they want to know for sure. The element found in the Earth's crust could also in part come from the dust in the bed of the Great Salt Lake. It could potentially mean more regulations. It might be that our understanding is such that we could look for easier places to control it. The study, which only got underway a couple of weeks ago, will look at where to best target solutions and controls, including other sources. Meantime, Martin says we can all do something to fight the pollution. By making these changes yourselves now, you will make a difference. In this study, we'll look at particulate matter through the winter, ozone through the spring and summer, and then come back in the winter to see what's changed and why. Mike Anderson, KSL 5 News. Mike, thank you. State